Hello everyone. So today we will talk about Dilo's excretion test. Dilo's excretion test. This Dilo's excretion test is a is a medical test performed to diagnose condition that present with the malabsorption of the proximal small intestine due to defect in the integrity of the gastro in intestinal mucosa big xylose is a monosaccharide that means it's a simple sugar that does not require enzyme for digestion prior to absorption its absorption require an intact mucosa only on other hand polysaccharides require enzymes such as amylase to break them down so that they can eventually be absorbed as a monosaccharide bisylose is a simple sugar that occur naturally in many plant foods our intestine usually absorb it easily along with the other nutrients to see how well our body is absorbing bisylose doctor will usually first use blood and urine test these test will show low dxylose level in our body and urine if our body is not absorbing dxylose well clinical significance dxylose absorption test measure the ability of the intestine duodenum and proximal jejunum to absorb the simple sugar called xylose generally xylose is found in the blood or urine which does not undergo metabolism this indicates whether the nutrients are being properly absorbed in the intestine abnormal result may be due to different disease such as coronary disease giardia lambria infestation hookworm infestation lymphatic obstruction small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or gastroenteritis disease these tests are prescribed only when one shows symptoms such as weight loss chronic diarrhea and extreme weakness and fatigue preparation for the test you should not eat food containing pentose for 24 hours before a dxylose absorption test pentose is a sugar that is similar to dxylose food higher in pentose include pastries jellies jams and fruits doctor may advise you to stop taking medicine such as indomethacin and aspirin prior to your test as these can interfere the results one should not eat or drink anything except water for 8 to 12 hours prior to the test children should avoid eating and drinking anything but water for 4 hours prior to the test procedure for dxylose excretion this test required both blood and the urine sample in case of blood sample blood would be drawn from a vein in your lower arm or the back of your hand firstly medical technician will swab the side with the antiseptic and will then wipe your elastic band around the top of your arm to cause the veins to swell with blood fasting a fasting blood sample is collected firstly in a tube attached to the needle then the person is given a standard dose of xylose dissolved in water to drink typically the dose is 25 g of xylose but if the person is unable to tolerate this amount then a 5 g dose may be used for children the dose is adjusted by weight in between 5 to 10 grams
the person is then asked to rest avoid exercise and walking second blood sample is collected after 2 hours for a urine sample all the urine is collected for 5 hours starting from the dose is given collect all the urine over the next 5 hours using a large sterilized container that usually hold about 1 gallon don't bother collecting the urine from when you first get up and empty your bladder be careful not to touch the inside of the container with your finger don't get any pubic hair stool menstrual blood or toilet paper in the urine sample these might contaminate the sample and screw results once the all the samples are collected estimation test for the xylose is performed if the test show abnormally low level of the xylose it could mean you have one of the following condition a disease that interfere with the intestine ability to absorb nutrients that may be malabsorption syndrome such as celiac disease short bowel syndrome a disease that may occur in a, a people who have had at least one third of their bowel removed infection by a parasite such as hookworm giardia inflammation of a intestinal lining food poisoning and flu let's let's talk about the risk associated with the test blood test there is a minimum risk of minor bruising at the needle site in rare cases the vein may become swollen after blood is drawn this can be treated with a warm compress several time each day ongoing bleeding could be a problem if you suffer from bleeding disorder or if you are taking blood thickening medicine such as warfarin or aspirin urine test the test can cause dehydration make sure that you drink enough fluid to replace the lost liquid after you have completed the test drinking the de xylose preparation may cause vomiting and diarrhea